all right what's going on guys welcome back to the channel it's been a while i was having some technical issues over the weekend so i did not get to record anything i did put that out on the community tab i'm um, telling you guys that's why jojo's and full metal alchemist did not start at the beginning of the week this week because i'm just now going to sit down tonight and get at least what's you know what could come out for tomorrow which is two episodes of jojo two episodes of full metal alchemist i'm gonna try to sit down and do those tonight so you can have those tomorrow for wednesday okay i had to order a part it's what happens when you're dealing with media stuff plugs and all kinds of stuff stuff go bad all the time you know and we've been having a lot of rain a lot of stuff down here in miami so it's kind of it, it, it's you know the thing is up in the air i lost internet for like a good two days they were doing maintenance in the area like it's crazy you know on the other hand so just wanted you guys to know that but that's not what i'm here to talk about i'm here to address certain certain things this might be a long video but i'm just giving you guys a small update at the beginning of the video so you know what's going on okay so the reason why i'm making this video is because every now and then things come across you know what i'm saying my youtube you know feed and stuff like that that really does have me thinking about certain things and you know where society itself is going like what's the direction what is the motives what is you know what is going on we know the election is coming up in the united states we know that it's happening right um you know and all of the hubbleaboo that's going on around that but that's not what i'm talking about i want to talk about youtube um in sp specifics as in things i don't necessarily want to see but it pops up in my recommended like all the time and i just don't understand from the content that i do watch on youtube i don't understand how these things come across my feed even though i clearly state or I'll go in and I press those three dots and I'm like, do not recommend this channel. Do not recommend this channel. Do not recommend these videos. Do not recommend these videos. It still pops up and it's getting to the point where it's, it's a little, I'm getting a little pissed off by it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's getting to the point where, you know, I'm getting a little pissed off by it because it shouldn't be happening because I don't want it. You get what I'm trying to say? So it's kind of to the point where something came up on my on my feed today. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure it's a well, it, it, it seemed like the video got around. It has over a million views. You know what I'm saying? It just goes, it, it, and to me, it just got me thinking. I'm like, so this is what interests people these days is it's just like, because other than that, this channel, I did a little bit of research, you know what I'm saying, this Adam22 guy, you know what I'm saying, like, on average, he's not doing those kind of views, this video blew up because of what the subject matter was, which was this girl and her friend came on, her, came on his podcast, and they're talking about um, how she sucked off, like, seven guys in a hotel room, NBA niggas too. So it just got me to thinking, you know what I'm saying? Like, what did I watch on YouTube that led to this? I watch sports highlights on YouTube. I do watch some, some podcasts on YouTube, but never anything raunchy like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I watch, you know, red pill content or maybe this reason that's the only thing that i could think of in the stuff that i watch between reactions and you know what i'm saying um you know between music reactions between anime reactions between um the podcast like joe rogan and stuff like that. that's the only thing i could think of why this guy this video popped up in my feed because of what the subject matter was about like i don't go to art i don't go to girls channels on youtube you know what i'm saying to see cleavage and hear them talk and tell stories like that like that's just not 
you don't get that. You don't see that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not something I search for at YouTube. It's of no interest to me because I believe. But since as it happened, now I feel like I got to talk to somebody. I'm about to do my reactions. And I said, let me make a, a, a short video on this really quick. And that's the 10 minute video. I don't know where society is going. It's I'm still going to live my life regardless, but I just don't know. Should I be concerned about society? Probably not because it's getting worse and worse. It's not getting better. And I guess our choice in these moments is to just live our lives and just hope for the better, I guess. You know what I'm saying? And you can't talk bad about these people. You can't come on your platform and talk bad about them. You can't, you get what I'm saying? Else, either YouTube is going to shut you down or a bunch of haters is going to come to your channel and be like, oh, what do you care? Why do you care so much? And all of this other stuff. So for me, I'm making this video because stuff like that should just, you know what I'm saying? Are, is it getting to the point where, you know, people are just getting so bold, whether it be women or men, that we get so bold that we talk about stuff like that. And if we turn around and say, she's a hoe, everybody jump on your neck. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody jump on your neck is just like, listen, I'm just describing what I'm seeing because YouTube recommended it to me. You get what I'm trying to say? Like she's describing this disgusting behavior. Like it's, oh, it's it's whatever. And the, the, the worst thing about it is that she's not a porn star. Right? She's not a porn star. She's just a hoe. Period. Point blank. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's just a hoe. She was getting dug out in the hotel room. Right? She was getting dug out in the hotel room. Clearly, six other players came in there, and she and they just decided to run a gangbang session. Like <laughs> you know, it's this is the world we live in now, where you can just go on a pad cut on a podcast, not anything on like Sirius XM, where you have like you used to have Howard Stern. I know he still does his thing. Usually, this is stuff you hear on like Howard Stern, and it's usually porn stars telling you these stories you know what i mean like it's not regular people you know what i'm saying and every time i say reg differentiate porn stars from regular people get the gist i don't need to freaking explain that okay get the gist of what i'm trying to say porn stars are not what you do is not normal behavior so stop fooling yourself okay but that is where we're heading as a society where that shit is going to become normal behavior and nobody is going to bat an eye at it. Why do you think all these girls can just jump on OnlyFans, right? And make all types of money, right? And I'm not, I'm not advocating for people to troll these people and, you know, misbehave around them and treat them like shit. That is not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that people should, you know, dog them out or anything like that or cuss them out or argue with them. Keep your, keep that stuff to yourself. You, if, if, if you don't have nothing good to say or to help them in any way, you just don't say nothing. You get what I'm saying? But when I look at this type of behavior, my concern is not, this, is not only for the person themselves, but also as a society itself. Because is this the kind of place where I want to raise a child in? You get what I'm trying to say? Like, those are the questions that I really do have to ask myself. It's like, if I do have a child, you know what I'm saying? A boy, a girl, you know what I'm saying? A daughter or a son. Do I really want them to grow up in these kind of you know what I'm saying, situations where they have access to hear a woman on media or talking like it's talking about that as if it's nothing, as if, you know, that's just an everyday lunch 
or something. You know what I'm saying? She swallowed all of it. All seven of the dudes. She swallowed, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And 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 I'm just I know this probably happened months ago. I don't even I, I didn't even check when it came out or whatever. But it's just hitting my radar because as I said, this is not something I go on YouTube looking for. You get what I'm trying to say? I've heard people tell stories, but the way how she was just so nonchalant about it, I'm just like, bruh. You know what I'm saying? And this is not somebody in the adult film history. You know what I'm saying? What do you want to say? You know what I'm saying? To me, in my opinion, do you consider, you know what I'm saying, only fan girls adult film stars? Maybe. Maybe. Instagram models? I mean, it's damn near close. To be honest, it's just not official. You know what I'm saying? You know, you you heard, you know, you guys have heard what I said about you know what I'm saying, porn stars and stuff like that, man. It's it's <laughs> it's getting there. And I, and the thing about it is, the thing about it, it's becoming the norm. Listen, I I love you know what I'm saying? I'm watching a show or whatever and I see nice ladies and I compliment them. They look good. You know what I'm saying? Love if I could get a chance to be with them. That's just me in the moment. But at the end of the day, once I shut that shit off, all those that shit is out the door, out the window, whatever. I have my woman. I'm good. You get what I'm saying? That's just, you know, infatuation. It goes away in a second. You know what I'm saying? It's a crush. It's whatever. You know what I mean? You know, at the end of the day, a lot of these women, they're not even attractive. They use makeup. To, I don't even know. I mean, it, it's gotten to the point where some of these women they they wear so much makeup that make them look like a dude. You know what I'm saying? Like they they dudeify themselves. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to laugh because this is a serious matter, but still, man, they need to chill with these YouTube recommendations, man. I want to. I don't want to watch stuff like that. I just clicked on it to hear. I mean, the title is is is. You know what I'm saying? It's intriguing, the title of it. I mean, I could see why it has over a million views because, I mean, anybody see that, they want to hear that story because they want to know, wh what? You let seven NBA players bust in your tr in your throat? Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. You know you're going to click on that video. You want to know what the hell happened, what team it is. You know what I'm saying? You want to know. It's, it's it's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? I, I you know, I applaud you. I really do. I applaud you if you if you if you didn't click on that video if it was recommended in your feed. I applaud you. But I had to watch that. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm not saying that you know what I'm saying? I'm not thanking YouTube for recommending it to me that's not what i'm doing because i was absolutely disgusted listening to the story my face was like this the whole entire time i'm like why are you saying that like it's nothing man and the funny thing about it the funny thing about it is that you know after she did that interview a whole bunch of dudes trying to pay her to get with her right sim culture right so that's what it is, man. That's all I have to say. It's just that, just a small story. Anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Um, see you guys later. Let me know what you think <laughs> in the comments. I'll catch you guys later, man.